So fun because it is something so different. I love watching these videos and it's basically what you can get for $2,500 to $3,000 for rent in Manhattan. I love watching these videos. I don't know if you guys know Sweet Digs. That's where I got the idea for this. I love just seeing people's homes. People in New York City are very open with how much they pay for rent because it is so expensive and what you can get in one area versus another area. And so I wanted to put this video out there. I know a lot of you guys are moving to New York City and it's just really interesting to see kind of like what your price point is, what you can get. I want to continue doing this series and do it for different price points, different areas. This is just kind of the start, so let me know if you guys would enjoy that. There are a lot of disclaimers I want to say in this video before I get started. The first one is it is expensive. I watch a lot of these videos and I always scroll to the comments and you always see the ones that are like, oh my gosh, in Alabama you can get a five bedroom house for this same price. And I don't think anyone who lives here isn't aware of that. It's not like they didn't know that, oh, it's cheaper other places. Like people know, they just choose to live here and they choose to live a certain way and you know maybe it's for a job maybe it's because they're young in their 20s and it's the time to do it like you just never know $2,500 for a studio and a one-bedroom apartment is very expensive but that's the reality I also wanted to say that I didn't look everywhere and you can definitely get a studio a one-bedroom apartment for cheaper or more expensive depending on the area I only looked uptown in one neighborhood and then I also looked downtown in another neighborhood and that's because these are two areas that I feel like I hear a lot of people want to live whether that be they want to live by Central park or maybe they want to live downtown where there's like more things happening it's closer to where they work just from what I've talked to with other people these are the areas that a lot of people move to so I didn't look in like outer boroughs this is just Manhattan I didn't look in Harlem I didn't look in you know Kips Bay like areas that you can find something that's maybe a little bit more affordable for your price point but I did just look at six apartments and I did just do this on the weekend I also wanted to say I only attended open houses for this so I did not want to waste people's time I didn't want to set up an appointment with a broker when I wasn't actually planning on rent and so I only intended open houses where the broker was there and it was come and go style for like an hour And I asked if I could record and lastly What is the price range that you guys would like to explore this price is obviously very expensive I'm not moving anytime soon. My lease is up in July and I'm getting married So I will be moving in with Aiden then and so fully transparent These are the kinds of apartments that we're looking at studios and one bedrooms And this was like the most common price point I could find for you know these areas that I looked at and yeah, I'm 22 years old I've lived here for four years now and so I just think that these things are interesting and I feel like I kind of have a sense of what's out there now so I also wanted to note that this is in February and typically in the winter time it's the downside of the market I believe so things are a little bit less expensive versus if you're looking in the summer usually prices are gonna be a little bit higher we're just gonna go on the order of the least expensive one that I looked at to the most expensive so the first one was a one bedroom one bathroom apartment located on the border of the West Village and it was twenty six hundred dollars so this one was definitely a kind of a more older a pre-war cozy feel as you will probably find on street easy which basically means you're not really getting that much it had like a little kitchen which was cute the bathroom was actually pretty nice i loved like the all-white bathroom not a ton of light in the bathroom you definitely face a cute little wall there and then the bedroom was a pretty decent size for new york you'll find that some bedrooms you can literally only fit a giant bed and that's it or in my case twin bed in my room but it was cute there was a decent amount of light it wasn't the brightest but it was okay it had a ton of storage lots of closets it had that overhead space it was honestly really cute and also a great area this was one of those areas that a lot of people like to live in and so i thought for like what you got for 2600 in New York City like this was pretty good so the pros I would say there's a separate bedroom because I did look at studios location a lot of people like to live in Greenwich Village the West Village they're very expensive neighborhoods in New York and then also that storage space you'll see that a lot of the apartments I looked at did not have a lot of closets so it's a good thing and then for cons say the biggest cons are there was not laundry in the unit or in the building so you'd have to go to a laundromat which is honestly the biggest deal breaker for me I know I'm not gonna want to do that and I also am weird with paying people to do my laundry i kind of want to be the one who folds my laundry there also wasn't a dishwasher which is pretty common that's one i can get over um it was also a fifth floor walk up which again i don't mind 
after a third floor walk up that's kind of when things get a little dicey <laughs> i think three floors is good but sometimes when it's that fifth floor it can be hard if you have someone who can't walk up stairs and then also there just was not a lot of sunlight it wasn't the worst i'm someone who really thrives on having big windows and lots of light so that would be a deal breaker for me apartment number two so this one was a studio apartment and it was located uptown near the lincoln square area so this apartment was two thousand six hundred and seventy two dollars a month and it was a newly renovated building so you'll find with new york there are oftentimes walk-up buildings and then there are like luxury kind of newer buildings so this was a newer building and this one honestly made me so sad when i walked in here <laughs> i don't know what it was there was a ton of closet space for a studio it was pretty spacious i feel like you could definitely section out like a bed and a couch and make it work but it just faced like a very generic building like there was no character the kitchen was beautiful the kitchen was big i liked how there was a giant window in the kitchen i, I would just like love being in this kitchen in this apartment because it had all new appliances very clean but it was just dark and it was kind of sad when we toured it you could really hear the neighbors a lot it was not like that cozy feel you know so i'd say the biggest pros were it had new appliances it had amenities tons of storage space and then the kitchen was just really nice you can see it it's like absolutely beautiful but the biggest cons were that like lack of sunlight it's also a studio so you don't really get a separate bedroom and it just felt sad inside i'm very much a believer that you need to tour the apartment that you look at because you will get a feeling when you walked in this building i live in now when i walked in i just knew like it was so cozy it was so warm apartment three was a one bedroom one bathroom and this was also located on the border of the west village it was very close to the first one and it was 27.95 this one was a very cute area again prime location very sweet this was actually the building that i looked at it was very cute i think that this one was actually my favorite one i looked at it was a one bedroom the living room faced the wall which was not very great but it had a decent sized closet and the bedroom was so cute it faced out it might be a little noisy because it does face the street but it wasn't really a noisy area it had the hardwood floors lots of natural light in that bedroom which is something that i love to see personally the kitchen was really quirky it had like that black and white tile floor but i honestly like that i think it's really cute when apartments have like older touches to them that just haven't been redone i think that they're really sweet the bathroom was okay it was really nothing special not super updated again it had that tile flooring which was cute kitchen was like very standard for new york nothing special it did not have a dishwasher or anything but that is what you get i really like this apartment i thought it had a lot of character it was really sweet for pros it had a separate bedroom location was great it had a really nice layout everything felt very separated and just big and then also the natural sunlight was really really great on it cons i would say there was no laundry in the building but there was a laundromat right next door so it's close you still have to go outside which can be kind of not fun during the winter time but there's also no dishwasher and it only had that one big closet so not a lot of storage but again cute character thought it was sweet apartment number four was also a one bedroom one bathroom this one was located uptown near central park west this one was literally right by central park again i did record outside the building it was just kind of a generic upper west side brownstone looking building this one actually someone was already living in but it was really really cute the kitchen was very updated the appliances were nice it did have a dishwasher which is great bathroom was pretty updated it was cute not a ton of storage in the bathroom but the marble tile was cute the living room was super bright it was very very pretty lots of space in the living room and also the hardwood floors were nice and it had like a fake fireplace mantle and then the bedroom was pretty big for a new york city bedroom and then the biggest pro slash con if you're me was the outdoor space there was a really nice patio area and it was so pretty being out there like facing the back of all the brownstones the bedroom also faced the back which means that it's going to be very quiet which is nice and it was just really sweet i've never actually toured an apartment that had outdoor space so this was super cool it was like a private space too it wasn't shared lots of storage in this apartment it was really cute biggest pros are that separate bedroom the outdoor space if you are someone who likes outdoor space it had a very solid layout i really liked the living room and the bedroom setup i thought it was really really cute updated appliances and then the location was really great being next to central park if you're someone who likes quieter areas this one was great i will say that the cons for this one while outdoor space is nice 
I get very worried about bugs. I've never lived in an apartment in New York that had bugs and I really don't want to start. And so I don't know if outdoor space would lead to being more bug welcoming because you do have that door that open, especially when it's right by the bedroom. Also, no laundry, which is pretty common for a lot of these kind of pre-war buildings. A lot of them don't have laundry. And then again, it was a fifth floor walk up. So it was pretty high up. Apartment number five, this one was a studio apartment and it was located in Greenwich Village. This one was $29.95 which I think is pretty pricey for a studio but again really great location this one was right on Bleecker Street so very popular area very spacious a very interesting building it actually used to be a hotel that they renovated into apartment but you walked in the bathroom was not very updated pretty like standard older bathroom nothing super duper special but it did have like a nice shower I will say and a pretty large closet for you know storing things I thought that was great closet space lots of natural light a very just like cute cozy feel you could like see in everyone else's patios it had a nice little area where you could put like a desk like it was almost like a nook area and I love that whenever you find a studio where it has little places because you do just have that big room it's nice to have a little nut the kitchen was pretty standard didn't have a dishwasher or anything but it was cute it was like tucked away which was nice and nice open floor plan and then just like the cool setup well that it used to be a hotel i would say the biggest pros for this one is that open floor plan was really pretty it also had laundry on every floor which is super nice if you're just getting laundry done location super great very very good location if you like to live downtown in the greenwich village area sunlight had lots of sunlight and then it also had an elevator which is very very nice cons the appliances were obviously very outdated if you're not really someone who cooks a lot like it would be a good kitchen but no dishwasher and then again it's a studio so you're paying for a smaller space so this last one this is apartment six it was also a studio apartment it was located uptown near riverside park and this one was 29.97 but literally right after we viewed it i went to check the price for this video and it went up to 3002 which is really shady that people do that maybe that just shows that like it's in demand and they want to get people to rent this one was definitely the smallest studio i think i looked at but it was so pretty the natural light beautiful you had that kind of waterfront view which was really nice updated appliances this was a very new new building with a lot of amenities so you do kind of get that more like comfortable feeling in your apartment tons of closets but again not a ton of square footage in the entire apartment the bathroom was beautiful nice like tiling everything was really great and new the closets were literally huge i was really jealous of these closets it had a gym, it had like a yoga studio. If you got a one bedroom in this building, you got your own laundry, but then if you got a studio, you used like the basement laundry room. It had outdoor space, like a common area, a study room, just all the things. And so pros for this one, again, natural light, storage space, updated appliances, all those amenities, and then you also get a really pretty view. But probably the biggest cons for this one is it's a very expensive price for a studio. And that's what you'll find if you wanna live in these luxury buildings buildings you're gonna get no space with all the amenities so it depends on the kind of lifestyle that you have personally and then again just expensive for the square footage so those are the six apartments that i looked at again i hope you guys enjoyed this let me know if you guys would like to see more of these videos let me know what you think let me know down below the next price point i should do the next area i'd love to hear and i will see you guys in my next video bye friends